from very beginning our aim is to provide banking services in the area which are unbanked area. We opened our branch in Mahaika where there was no bank. We are opening our branch here where if you see the distance no, from Parika to there is no branch. And this community you know, was, was really looking for the banking expansion. And now if you look at the traffic problem and all other things, no, nobody would like to go to Georgetown. Not for any other purpose, but the traffic is so heavy now, nowadays. Expansion of banking is one of the, our leading indicators of our growth. From just one bank, one branch I can say, we are now, this is the ninth branch. It's all banking facility, adequate parking, whatever you see in a big branch of, or in big bank of Georgetown, you will see it here, night, bank, night deposit facility, drive-in ATM, all facilities are here. We have trained our staff adequately in order to see that every customer who comes to the bank you know, do not find any difficulty. This is the kind of us. Please congratulate. This is the kind of aspirational opportunities that local companies create for Guyanese. The first bank created by the Guyana private sector. First. All the other banks were created by foreign banks. One was created by the government, and it failed. We all know that. I served for a year as chairman of that bank in its dying days. But this is the first and only bank that has been created by the indigenous private sector. And that is why we take great pride in making sure this bank is very successful because we want to demonstrate to the world that Guyanese are as good as anybody else. And whatever the rest of the world think they can do well, we can do just as good, if not better. The business that I work for day after day, that has always been my mission. It is my belief that the branch at Lenora will contribute to the rapid growth we are seeing in this area. And I think that the opening of this branch could not have been more timely, given the phenomenal growth that we see taking place here. Perfect timing, I will say. And in pursuance of our growth strategy of the bank, as Mr. Dave alluded to earlier, we are embarking on the utilization of cutting edge technology, which will enhance the customer experience in terms of speed, convenience, and efficiency, and transforming the banking sector in Guyana, moving it in line with what obtains in the developed world. Following an agreement on the preparatory work in 2023, next year we'll be using one of the world's leading technology company online platform to introduce in a very significant way the banking services online available to everyone, even without having to come into a branch. There are few places that better epitomize and illustrate the speed with which Guyana is being transformed. If you look at Lenora and how much Lenora has been transformed in such a short space of time, all of this transformation has taken place under Irfan Ali's presidency. All of this transformation. You may wake up and think it's the same village. It's the same Lenora. It's not the same Lenora. Leonora has emerged in the space of two and a half years to be a major center of economic activity. And that didn't happen by magic. It didn't happen by accident. It didn't happen by luck or by chance. It happened as a result of deliberate policy choices that were made, deliberate decisions that were made by our president and his government. Demrara Bank has been at the forefront 
of the private sector response to the environment that President Ali and his government are creating. And I want to congratulate you for that. I want to congratulate you for three decades of remarkable growth and say to you that the best of your growth years are yet to come. This building is testimony to the speed, efficiency, and quality that is associated with the bank. Two to five years from now, these buildings will be converted into what will be known as back offices. You'll have faceless bank, but you have the people in there doing the back office job. You won't see them, but they'll be doing the back office, important back office work. But much more important than that, this building will be providing more jobs because we will create the infrastructure for nearshoring and financial services. In the last three years, profits in the banking sector grew from $9.9 .9 billion to $19.8 billion. More than 100% growth in the last three years. What we need to do now is to have a conversation with the banks because this growth is going to continue to expand as to how we plow back and reinvest these profits into the system to continue the expansion and diversification of the economy.